what's going on friends welcome back to dennis simplifies in this video we are going to be going through how to 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 implement react native wind in our react native project so step back relax and as you already know let's simplify so what is the react native wind let's go straight to the react native wind documentations to to know learn more about react native wind so we are going to know that the react native wind actually uses the typescript language which of the tailwind css so meaning that the same syntax of the tailwind css is going to be incorporated into the react native wind meaning the react native wind actually has just some little add-ups to the tailwind css so and again the react native wind actually uses the same compiler as the tailwind css so the react native wind is actually a universal styling component that we'll be using in our project so what we are going to be doing straightforward as i said earlier if you already know tailwind css then getting used to the react native wind is going to be very easy not 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 a hassle for you so let's go straight to installing the react native wind in our react native project so we go straight to the react native wind website that is their documentations and as you see we are going to go straight to the installation process copy the the, the link for the installation which is the npm install react native wind okay so from there we go straight to our vs code terminal push it in there npm install react native win hit enter and do our installation all right so when we are through with our installation with the react native win we are going to go straight to our folder and then in our folder we are going to create or in our app folder for our project we are going to be creating a file called the tailwind.config.js now this tailwind.config.js is going to help us implement the react native win you can actually give it any name but just make sure that the extensions are actually intact that is the .config.js is actually intact so after creating this file that is the tailwind.config.js inside this file we are going to go to the tailwind.css website that is the tailwind css website and then copy what is inside there for their config file come back to our vs code and then post it or paste it inside our vs code tailwind.config.js file so we paste it every we paste everything inside here now one thing you're going to realize is that in the the, the copy that we made you could see that there was you could see that we have our source here that is we have our, our, our source here that's a custom folder they're asking us to put in a custom folder over here but then we already have the dot forest slash up here so this custom folder what we are going to be doing is that it's going to be relative for everyone for me what it means is that this custom folder the custom folder actually holds files that are going to be needing or that are actually using the react native wind so any folder that contains a file that is going to use the react native wind you put the name of that folder inside this forest slashes here so again for my case components is a folder that uses that contains files that are going to be using the react native wind so i put the name of the component here and i copy and i paste it here again screens is also a folder in my project that contains files that are going to be using the react native way so as you can see here i have screens over here so i call I, I i control save i save it and then now that i have my react native wind installed and i have my tailwind.config.js file set up i'm going to go straight to my home screen for my app and then i'm going to import this over there as i told you before that i'm going to be using the react native wind in my project so as you can see over here i have import and then in my curly braces i have s from react native wind so as i as i told you before we are using the react native wind to style our react native project so how do we actually use after importing it so i go down to my save area view as you can see from my save area view, i'm going to style it so i say style equals curly braces s then this s is coming from the react native wind if you remember as, as we imported the s so bg that is background the background should be white and the pattern top should be should be five so that should be for my save area view that is under my status bar 
background should be white the padding should be should be five now we'll go down again for my other view for this view also i'm going to be applying the react native wing styling so style equals scaly braces s from the react native wing i want a flex row the pattern bottom should be three the item should be centered the margin on the x axis should be four and the spaces on the, the spacing on the x axis should be also be two so when i say flex row Traditionally, the flex is actually on the column. So I'm saying flex row, that means all my items should be arranged on the row. All right, so I'll go to the image also and I'm going to apply the React Native when styling components to it. So with the styling over there, I'm saying that with the S style, Kelly braces S, I want the height of the image to be seven, the width of the image to be seven, the background image should be gray with a, 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 with, with a shade of 300, the padding should be four, and the image should be rounded fully. All right, the next thing again, I'll take another view, styling that view, style equals the Kelly braces the X, and then the flex should be one, meaning that view should occupy the, the spacing on that row. It should take all the space on that row. And then the text style, I'm taking, um, I want to style the text deliver now. So to, to style the text deliver now, I'm taking style equals the S from the React Native wind. So I want the text deliver now should have a font, a font bold. The text should be gray with a shade of 400 and the text should be extra small. So the deliver now should be very small. Again, I'm going to style another text called current location. The style should be the fonts the font should be bold and then the text should be extra large so as you can see style equals the Kelly braces s font bold and the text extra large all right so another thing i'm going to be doing is that for another view i'm going to start that view also i want the flex should be on the row the item centered spacing on the x axis should be two pattern button should be two and then the margin on the x axis should be four so with this one when i say flex row as i told you you should arrange the items on a row not in the column form so i should arrange them on the row they should be in the center spacing with the pattern and then the margin and again that's the last one with the view again i'm styling that view to the flex on the row the flex should be one meaning i should take the entire space on the row spacing of two and then the background should be gray with a tone of 200 and then the pattern should be three with a shade of 200 and then the pattern of three so if you are not familiar with this the, with the with the react native win syntax as i told you it's using the same syntax as the tool win css you can go straight to the tool win css website give their documentation a read it really helps you get really acquainted with how the react native win actually works all right so now that we have everything set up we want to actually run our code that is we want to connect our, our project here to the expo app so that we can see it on our android phone or on our phones how our app actually looks like so i'm going to go straight to my terminal and then run npm start so when i run my npm start i'm going to wait for it to load and then when it loads i'm going to connect my android that is i'll press a on my on my keyboard to connect it to my my android phone and then there it goes it displays so as you can see on the screen, you can see the deliver now text has actually been very small and the current location is very huge. And then you can see that they are all arranged on a row. The, the image, the deliver now, current location, and then the last image over there, the, the, the chevron and then the user image, you can see they are all on the row. And then for the search part, you can also see that we have them also on the row. And you have our images rounded fully that are rounded fully for the top where the deliver now is and then we have our image spectacularly arranged very nice very nice neatly arranged you can see that that it has a background of white also and we are doing amazing you can see the reality when is doing an amazing job giving us the right things on point on point on point all right friends so this is this is an intro or this is this is an, an, an getting you getting you acquainted with the react native win i will encourage you all to actually use the react native win in your react native project it's just amazing it's simple and it's easy and it does so many great works you can go you can visit the website the react native win website and then learn more about how to use react native win how to go about the flex box and the flex row and the item center and the whole syntax itself so friends that's it for this video don't forget to show some love by hitting the like and subscribe button until next time a party